Mallory with a final check of that forecast. Yeah, thanks, David. We are going to start off taking a look here at our temperatures across the valley this morning. We are all sitting in the mid to upper 60s. Robinson is the only one that has broken into that 70 degree mark so far. We've got Bloomington at 67 and Vincennes is at 68. Those winds are calm out there today. This is contributing to some fog formation across the valley. So if you are headed out for a commute to work this morning, make sure you give yourself just a little bit of extra time out there as the Crawfordsville area is down to zero zero visibility, so that fog is pretty thick in that area. Danville is down to about a quarter of a mile. Washington down to the south is a little over a mile for visibility, as well as only Effingham is only at about half a mile. So there is quite a bit of fog out there as you go into the across the valley this morning. So just give yourself a little extra travel time today. Looking at our national satellite and radar, not a lot going on across the country. If we look here closer to home, the same is uh, it is the same here as well. All is clear on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. Looking at Terre Haute right now, our temperature is currently sitting at 66 degrees. We've got those winds at uh, three miles an hour coming out of the east, and that pressure is sitting at 30.06, and it is holding steady. Looking ahead at what we are tracking for the next several days, we do have daily rain chances. This is nothing that is going to be widespread. We're talking pop-up showers in the afternoon thanks to that heat and humidity, but again, nothing widespread until the start or until midweek next week. We are also looking at those temperatures heating up as we go into the start of next week. Come late Tuesday into Wednesday, we're tracking some rain and a nice cool down is on the way as well. So looking at our seven day precipitation forecast here, we are looking again, the main story here is uh, dry conditions through the next several days. Just that chance of some pop-up showers as we get into the late in the day on Tuesday into the early part of Wednesday is when we are tracking that low pressure system moving in, bringing us our next chance of some widespread showers. Those rain chances will stick around through the day Wednesday, move out in the early portion of Thursday, leaving behind a cooler, some cooler air temperatures. It's going to be a um, good reprieve from that heat and humidity after we get into the start of next week where we will see that heat plus the humidity we'll see those heat indices close to 100 if not breaking uh, that 100 degree mark pushing that heat and or that heat advisory uh, criteria and but as we go into later part of next week here we will get a brief cool down following that rain that will move through on Tuesday and a Wednesday so here's your forecast for today we'll see a high of 88 degrees partly cloudy skies. Winds out of the west at three miles an hour. For the overnight tonight, temperatures will fall down to around 68 degrees with mostly clear skies. For the day tomorrow, temperatures are slowly on the rise. We'll see a high of 91 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Again, those temperatures are going to continue to rise as we go through the weekend. Sunday, temperatures will top out around 93, 95 from Monday. That humidity is going to be a big factor for Monday and into Tuesday, where we could see heat indices in excess of 100 miles, or not 100 miles an hour, 100 <laughs> degrees. Um, that is pushing that heat, that heat advisory criteria. So we'll just have to see how close we get there. Tuesday, we do have scattered showers moving in later in the day, lasting through most of the day on Wednesday, where we will have cooler temperatures following that rain. So a nice break from that.